Mark here at Whiskey Whistle. Johnny Walker Blue Label Blended Scotch Whiskey. What should you buy? The previous edition's bottled at 43% ABV or the cask strength style duty free exclusive known as the casks edition or the ubiquitous current edition of Johnny Walker Blue Label. Find out what's right for you here on the concise Johnny Walker Blue Label Whiskey Whistle. Hey ladies and gents, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews. Bringing you whiskey review number 245, a very special one. This is the comprehensive Johnny Walker Blue Label review. I think it's the only one on the internet. I'm going to be comparing the Casks edition, that's the Cask Strength version of Johnny Walker Blue Label, with the current edition of Blue Label, which is the one in the middle here. We'll also be unboxing that one, it has not been opened, along with the former 43% version. All three of these, all together, all at once, just for you. First of all, we'll get it poured, and uh, then we'll talk a little bit about what's gonna happen in the review today. Now, this is a one liter, huge box. So I'm gonna clear the box off the table, and we'll just leave the bottle. Uh, this is a bottle on loan. Very handsome bottle, nice blue glass. Love its little tassel there. We'll set that right there. And we'll get that one poured first near the end of the bottle here so I won't be able to take very much of this. Now I'm going to be using my Johnny Walker nosing glasses. Can you see that there? It's got the striding man there. Keep walking. We'll get that poured. Almost like a Glencairn glass, just slightly different. There we go. And I think that should about do it. And now we are going to unbox and open up this 200 milliliter. Uh, this is the actual current edition. I picked that up very recently from the Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker house here in Seoul, South Korea. Now this one also has a very handsome blue glass. Look at that, eh? Now, if you're not aware, um, so Johnny Walker, uh, the blue label, that's a blended Scotch whiskey. It's their premium. Only one out of a thousand casks gets into the blend here. Hmm. Maybe I will. Well, got it open. There we go. All right, so there we are. Into yet another Johnny Walker bespoke nosing glass. Almost spilled some there. Ooh. Okay. And then finally, this is the older edition of Johnny Walker Blue Label. And notice that the glass is green here. Let me open that very gently. There. That's got a little bit of a, a kind of a, not quite rotten cork, but uh, the cork, you know, corks don't last forever. So when you're opening up an older whiskey, do it very slowly and very carefully. Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm going to rearrange the table here because you can't see which is which. So, go like that one. Now that's exactly the same nosing glass. This is from the Classic Malts Selection which is owned by the same company. Now first of all, I'm going to test the brand new edition of Johnny Walker Blue Label Blended Scotch Whiskey. That's the one in the middle. And you'll notice that uh, the Casks edition has a little band around the bottom there so you know which is which. Okay, so we'll start with that one. We'll talk about the color of the whiskey. We will talk about the legs of the whiskey. Then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish. That's the smell, the taste, and the aftertaste. And then we'll give it a whiskey whistle, whiskey score. After that, then we'll compare with the older version of Johnny Walker Blue Label and also the Casks Edition. Now stay tuned. We're going to let that breathe for a couple of minutes and we'll be right back. All right, well, welcome back. Okay, let's get on to the current edition of Johnny Walker Blue Label. 
Now, I made a bit of a blunder. I said one in a thousand casks. In fact, it's one in 10,000 casks of the rarest whiskeys are what goes into Johnny Walker Blue Label. Let me read this here. Drawing from the world's largest reserves of aged Scotch whiskey, our experienced master blenders handpick just one in 10,000 casks of the rarest whiskies from the four corners of Scotland to craft this an unrivaled masterpiece. So we'll check out the color first of all. Johnny Walker Blue Label, the current edition. Now no mention as to whether that's natural in color. Now this is quite a long aged whiskey. Some of the whiskeys in here may be as young as 18 years old. Many of the whiskeys in here may be as old as 30, possibly older, 30 years old, 40 years old. Who knows, that's a secret, isn't it? Diageo, what's the secret? Okay, let's check out the legs of the whiskey now. Oh, now my interpretation of this color, um, again, this is a nice bright gold, um, getting near that pure gold color. Very attractive. So let's check out the legs. All right, so have a look there. Look at those legs as they drizzle down very slowly. And I would say that's indicative of older content. Look at how long it takes. And then we have the secondary uh, beading, the secondary drizzle coming through here now. And uh, boy, what a, what a show that is. To my eyes, this is going to be very rich on the palate and hopefully very mouth coating. And I'm salivating. And the scent is incredible. Mmm. Now, before we get onto the nose, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Roy from Aqua Vitae, A Q V A V I T A E, Aqua Vitae. He's got a great channel. Not too many videos yet, but boy, what a great production he puts. He puts a lot of time and effort into those. And uh, he is a true Scotsman. He really knows what he's talking about. Now, we were talking about um, uh, blended Scotch whiskies, and we both agree that uh, blends get a bad rap. Um, blue label gets a bad rap and you know what honestly you gotta put some blinders on and just try it and uh, I kid you not probably there will be a lot of people out there who thought that they liked um, uh, single malts more that will absolutely love this whiskey and if this one is not to their liking there's a whole host of other brands uh, at every price range in blended scotch whiskies that will suit your palate Tell me what you've had for blends. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, the nose. It's very bright. It's got a very bright nose. Fresh fruits. Tropical fruits. My nose smells more American oak uh, and traditional, we'll call that traditional Scotch whiskey oak than sherried. There's also a fair amount of peated whiskey content here. Uh, I'm guessing that this is, in terms of total content, maybe about 5% peated whiskey. My nose is smelling Oban. It's actually smelling liquid also. I'm certain there's Mortlach in here. And I'm sure there's Rose Bank. perhaps some Brora, and definitely Kleinlich. Kleinlich is a backbone. Kleinlich is such a quality malt that um, you'll find many blenders using Kleinlich for their own blends, not the least of which is Compass Box. A little bit of leather, not very much, not as much as I thought there would be. It's also very grassy. A fresh grassy field. Also some harvested hay. Pineapple. Pineapple is showing very prominently for me here. All right, onto the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. This grabs a hold of your palate the second it hits your tongue. 
The event is sweet and tart. A little bit more sweetness than tartness, but a very good balance. Not a lot of bitterness here. I wouldn't call this dry. And the grain whiskey, which is distilled in a column still as opposed to a pot still, is very well matured and very well taken care of in terms of the cask quality, uh, possibly even its um, location in the warehouse to ensure uh, proper maturation. Of course, the grain whiskey content, if it's an age statement, it's going to have to be the same age. This is non-age statement. However, most likely the, uh, the grain whiskey will be um, much older than some of the malt whiskey in here. The reason being that the production cost of grain whiskey is a little bit cheaper. Also the demand for a single grain whiskey is fairly low. Single malt whiskey, hot, that's hot right now. Apparently as much as 25% of the total Scotch whiskey market in terms of volume. Single grain whiskey is probably less than 1% of demand. All right, back into the palette. Now, despite being 40% ABV, did I mention that? 40% ABV. It's got a nice mouth feel. Um, I wouldn't call it syrupy. I wouldn't call it, you know, totally mouth coating, but it really sits on the tongue nicely. And try to keep it in your mouth for, I don't know, let's say 20 seconds, I would say. The finish, the finish is sweet, grassy, vanilla, kind of a, a pudding, a vanilla pudding. A little bit of that, um, uh, that grassy note, a little bit of a smoke, a little bit of puffs, puffs of smoke coming through there. And uh, it also carries very, very long. This is a very long finish. Uh, what a wonderful whiskey this is. And when you think about the price of Johnny Walker Blue Label and uh, the value of this whiskey, something like around 25 year old. So if you're talking about a 25 year old whiskey, single malt, in Canada anyway, you're gonna be paying $800 for a, a top brand Meanwhile, I think this is less than 300 um, in Manitoba. Here in Korea, you can get the new blue label for about 230,000 won. Uh, you can get the older ones for a little bit less. Hmm. I'm going to have to refill that glass a little bit. That's good. Okay. All right, now let's add a little bit of water here. Just a touch, not very much. I think I've added a little bit less than one milliliter. A little bit more earthy, and yet also a little bit more sweet. With water, I'm also getting a little bit more caramel. So something caramel-esque is coming through on the nose now with water. I didn't notice that before without water. Mm, I wonder if that's going to be sweeter now. Let's check it out. The palette with water. Mm-hmm. Much sweeter. A little bit less tart. It's like vanilla pudding. Not caramel pudding, vanilla pudding. And uh, still a puffs of smoke coming through on the palate. Hmm. Now, if you compare this to the 12 year old, much less peat. If you compare it to the 18, it's got a little bit more earthiness to it, a little bit more leatheriness to it, and a little bit more tropical fruitiness to it. 
Now I've re reviewed the 12 and the 18. I've reviewed the, also the platinum label 18 and uh, the gold label as well. So I, I'll invite you to have a look at those Johnny Walker reviews. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Bit of grassy, that hay type of a flavor. Cooked apples, baked apples coming through in the finish now. With lots of vanilla bean. Mmm. Very nice. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and give this a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score now. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Johnny Walker Blue Label, the current edition. That's this one right here. Purchased not long ago at the Johnny Walker House here in Seoul, South Korea. It was 120,000 won. Uh, that's about a little over $100 US. About 135 Canadian, I'd say. Uh, anyway, the Whiskey was a Whiskey score for Johnny Walker Blue Label is going to be 91 out of 100. Yes, you heard right. 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey was a Whiskey score for Johnny Walker Blue Label, the current edition. I highly recommend this. I can't recommend it enough. Price to quality is very high. I do wish it was 43%. 40% that's the minimum requirement they meet it it's bottled in Scotland they've got some amazing casks uh, this is a malt beading blend now let's check out the other two whiskeys here on the table uh, first of all let's have a look at the older version color wise uh, this looks to be the same color to me any difference in legs There we go, the first legs drizzle down quite slowly. Very well defined legs. Um, I think this one wins in the legs department for, uh, you know, between the two so far. All right, now let's get into the nose, shall we? Much more peat content. It smells older. This smells of whiskey of years and years ago. People who buy current whiskeys on the market would not recognize some of the scents in here. What I'll say is this. There's a lot more American oak casks involved in the present Johnny Walker Blue Label. There were a lot more refill casks, second fill, possibly third fill, um, of a variety of different whiskeys. I think there's probably more whiskeys in this blend, probably some rarer whiskeys that are no longer available uh, for this one. So you might find some of the whiskeys in this one that have now progressed to the um, above blue label Johnny Walker, such as Odyssey, such as uh, King George the Fifth, is it called? That's my guess. I won't know until I try them. This is a much more challenging nose also. You get some liniments, some much more leather polished oak and more peat hmm it's still recognizable as blue however okay let's check out the palette cheers hmm hmm largely the same sweet and tart um, beginning of the palate, the development. There's more vanilla in the finish. It's more mouth coating. This is 43% ABV. 
that'll add quite a bit more in terms of strength of flavor. And as Ralphie says, it's the alcohol that carries the flavor. There might be a little bit more sherry content in here. It's still very minimal. The finish is much drier than the current version. Both of them are very long finishes. For me, the palette is a toss up. The nose. What I'll say is the current version of Johnny Walker Blue Label is more accessible for today's whiskey drinkers. The older version, I prefer it to some degree just for its variety. And there's whiskey in here that I will not be able to smell unless I spend a lot of money on um, some, you know, dead distilleries. Of course, we'll add a bit of water. See what happens here now. Well, the um, liniments and leather and polished oak are somewhat minimized. A little bit more spice forward now. See, now that really tames down the um, unusual sense there, the leathers and the polished oak, etc. Still much more peat here. And again, I'm thinking a lot more second fill, third fill. This has a lot of first fill content in it, or it has some uh, first fill finishing content. Now, as I said before, this reminds me a lot of the whiskeys that I would have smelled when I was a teenager. The whiskey in my house that my father had in the, uh, the cupboard. All right. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. Still very potent with water. What I notice is a little bit more smoky content with water. The finish also. It's a little bit more smoky. It's still very fruit forward. Tropical fruits, yes. Leather also. Mmm. I really like that with water added. It's like tropical fruits with a bit of uh, wafts of smoke coming through there. Very nice. Okay, now last but not least, the Casks Edition. Now this may actually have some different content than the current version. What it says here is, Crafted from some of our rarest casks, this limited edition release, bottled at 55.8% alcohol by volume, has intensified oak flavors and is a tribute to the perfect harmony of the oak casks used in the blending of Johnny Walker Blue Label. So there may actually be some different whiskeys involved here. The color, the color might be a little bit deeper because of its strength. Definite 24 karat gold, perhaps even a bit beyond that. Very dark. Now how about the legs? I expect that the legs will be much slower. They'll hang on the, on the glass longer and um, they'll give us a better show. Okay, here we are. There's the striding man. And look how slowly those legs begin so slowly they're taking their sweet time in fact the lip that edge where the, the whiskey was is just hanging there okay we get some legs dropping down first here but then look look how slowly they go i would say that this matches the 43 percent older version for legs the nose is very potent 
this smells more like the green bottled older version, 43% than like the new blue label. So there may be some additional extra casks in here from some very rare whiskeys. I still smell the new oak, a new American oak to some degree. But I also smell some very long aged older whiskies coming from stocks that may go back to, you know, who knows, maybe the early 90s, maybe into the 80s, possibly even the 70s. It's grassy. It is leather-esque. A little bit of fruit, but uh, more like more like a fruit compote. Okay, let's check out the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mm. That is very overwhelming. Very well made. Still a very nice sweet and tart development. It's got the fruit, it's got the tropical fruit, it has um, that bit of peat content. It's got the older content that I really liked in the older version. Hmm. It's very warming. It's really like a mix of both of these. For flavor, There's a zesty pineapple. It's very zingy. There is lots of vanilla. There's lots of cinnamon, cinnamon hearts. I don't notice the peat as much here as in the older version. Hmm. There are some very active casks that went into making this one. The finish is exceedingly long. It's longer than the other two. You get this effervescence, this oak, strong oak, fresh oak kind of a zing, vanilla, some fruits. There's a little bit of dried fruit noted, noticed here as well. Something like dried apricots, dried pineapple, dried mango. Okay, let's add some water. We will add a bit of water here. One and two. About three milliliters of water was added. Release that serpent. Now, honestly, this is coming off as the older version, which has then been finished in some very fresh American oak casks. The leather, the liniment, the tropical fruit, this is very nice. Cheers, everybody. Tart and juicy, a little bit dry. Oh. That's really what I'm going to stick with here. You've got the older whiskeys from the previous years of Johnny Walker Blue Label mixed with the newer whiskeys that go in to make the Johnny Walker Blue Label, the current version. And I've got all of these in here. Well, what can I say about these? They're all wonderful. I said 91 for the current version, I'm going to go with 92 for the older version and for the casks edition, I think that also deserves a 92 out of 100. All right, so 91 for the blue label, the regular edition, the current version, 92 for the older one and the casks edition. Something kind of minty coming through there now. Boy, that's nice. Mm. Well, I sure hope you like that comprehensive Johnny Walker Blue Label review featuring the older Johnny Walker Blue Label, the current Johnny Walker Blue Label, and also the Casks Edition Johnny Walker Blue Label. And uh, beautiful whiskeys. This is a great value, such a great value here. 
the Casks Edition. If you happen to be traveling internationally, that might be also a very great value considering that it's 55.8% ABV. And if you happen to be able to find the older version at auction, just do it because you get a lot of great scents here, great flavors that you will not be able to find in other whiskeys. Now the winner for most accessible of the three of these is the present version. That's just great. However, for my palette, these two are the winners. Casks Edition and also the older version. Now I want to mix these two just for fun. What is going to happen here now? What's happened is I have pretty much recreated this whiskey with these two. So whatever went into this one is now included in the Casks Edition but not in the regular blue label. Hmm. Beautiful. Such balance. Hmm. Now what's going to happen if I add the cask edition? Should we try that? Why not? Well, this is the this is the leader of all. Mm. That's incredible. Ninety-three. That's about the best I can give it. Anyway, that's the best I've given any Scotch whiskey. You know, incredible. Mm. Oh, wow. Amazing. Well, this was the comprehensive Johnny Walker Blue Label review. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the link right over here. You see that little round, um, sort of whitish colored circle? Click on that and you'll be subscribed. Leave a comment. What do you think of Johnny Walker Blue Label? Good or bad? Leave me the comment. And also, to, before I forget, don't forget that I've also launched a Patreon account. P-A-T-R-E-O-N backslash Whiskey Whistle. Become part of the team and see what happens with 2018. All right. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.